Okay, so here I have a, uh, a very simple just electric motor and I put a piece of tape on the shaft so you can see when it spins. Um, and then this looks complicated but it's not. I have right here a battery and then I have this hooked up to it so I can measure the voltage on the battery right there. It's at 1.5 volts, it's just hooked up. And then I have one lead coming out the battery to the ammeter and then the other lead is going to the battery and then I have this coming out. So, so I have the current going through the ammeter so it reads the current. Okay, so I want to show you something. So now um, really watch this meter right here. Can you see that? Yeah. Watch this when I, when I connect it. Okay, so it's reading um, under 50 milliamps. Now watch what happens when I stop the motor. It jumps, jumps up to over 100 milliamps. Start it back, and it goes back down. Now what if I just kind of slow it down? I put a load by putting my finger up against it. Watch what happens. So the slower the motor goes, the greater the current in the motor. Uh, let's look at the, the voltage right here. Um, let's see if we can see this. Okay, what happens when I stop it? The voltage drops. And that's because uh, the more current that comes out of that battery, uh, the, lower the, the lower the voltage because of internal resistance. Okay.